obsession. That's it. You can end the video right now. For my audience over the age of 35, cracked is a term used by Zoomers to indicate someone is highly skilled. Therefore, a cracked programmer is someone highly skilled at programming. It doesn't matter if they use NeoVim or Cursor, there's no magical tech stack, no magical project, no one-shot bullet that'll get you there. From my observation of cracked developers, there's roughly two ways to get there. You can be obsessed with creating something. Let's look at 2024's Game of the Year nominee, Bellatro, the only nomination that was created by a solo developer, and it was written entirely in Lua. Yes, Roblox NeoVim language Lua, using the framework Love2D. Tom DeLalande has an excellent video on how this game was made, and I highly recommend checking it out. In a world where noobs are watching 7-hour Unity tutorials, and corporations need 100 post-release patches to get a game semi-functional, LocalThunk, a solo Canadian developer, Developer, almost shipped Game of the Year, and he wasn't even trying. He only assumed a few people would play his game. To make matters more interesting, he isn't much of a gamer himself. So how did he get cracked? Because he's obsessed with making games. He shipped Bellatro when his boss was forcing him to take some time off work. And his idea of a vacation? Staying at home and developing video games. He's absolutely in love with the process. He's described it as meditation, and you can truly see it in the game, from the art style, to the sound effects. I mean, just listen to the game for a few seconds. You can see how much love and care was put into it. Local Funk didn't care about becoming the most cracked Lua developer in the world. All he cared about is making fun games for his family and friends. And getting good at Lua was just a byproduct. He was so obsessed with the end goal that the technology was simply a means to get there. Although there are neckbeards on Reddit critiquing his code, who do you think is more cracked? these critics on Reddit, or the solo dev that sold 1 million copies. Now while you can get obsessed with the end product so that the code is an afterthought, the opposite can also be true. You can be obsessed with the technology and get absolutely cracked. An example is Evan Yu, the creator of Vue.js, and a bunch of other amazing tools. You can argue the popularity of Vue, but in a world where frameworks are powered by mega corporations, the fact that a side project by a solo dev is even in the same conversation says a lot about Evan's skills. And the reason he made Vue was simple. After spending a few years working at Google and using Angular, Evan just wanted a lightweight technology that extracted the good parts that he liked about Angular. If you've spent any time developing modern React apps, you've also heard of Vite, another tool made by Evan. He again found a problem within a technology, obsessed over it, and created a solution. A solution so good that the official React docs recommend Vite over their own internally made Create React app. A huge thanks to Evan Yu for his massive contributions and saving us from Create React app. Fundamentally, whether you get addicted to the outcomes of building, like a beautiful game or a piece of software, or you get addicted to using a particular technology, the only way to get cracked is by obsessing over it. Because you can't fake obsession. And obsession eventually leads to hard work. But it makes that hard work feel like play. As developers, we often overthink things, like this language won't get me employed, or this thing's already been built, what's the point in me building it? It's that thinking that often limits us. Linux was a side project, but other operating systems already existed. Imagine if Linus adopted that reasoning. A way I like to think about it personally is would I do this thing for free? Because once you take away all the external motivation, all that's really left is your obsession. So the next time you're building something, if you have the privilege, forget the money, forget the job, forget everything build it for you, and that's how you can get obsessed. And whether you're a new or experienced programmer, a gateway drug to getting obsessed with coding is the sponsor of today's video, Boot.dev. Boot.dev is the one place on the internet that combines gaming and programming. The course feels like you're playing a freaking RPG. I recently tried out their Git course, and yes, it was made by your favorite Vimmer's favorite Vimmer. The course covered configs, branching, and rebasing, and it had some pretty funny memes too. There's also super high quality content on TypeScript, Python, and Go, just to name a few. Plus you'll also be learning from Boots, my favorite mascot. He's your personal AI tutor trained on the course content, and he doesn't just give you answers, but guides you to get back on track. By the way, that Git course? Entirely free, just like all the content on Boot.dev. The paid membership unlocks the interactivity features like hands-on coding and AI assistance, aka access to Boots. So go ahead and start getting cracked, and try the courses on Boot.dev for free. Then use my code BIGBOXSWEET to get 25% off your entire first year if you choose the annual plan. Thank you so much to Lane and Boot.dev for helping my viewers get cracked. And thank you for your time, I am BIGBOX.